So for our next project, we're going to use our doggy template. Oh, upside down, sorry. Um, I've cut him out, and you can see some examples of him around different types of festive ribbons I'm using. It's a very basic shape, and we can adapt this idea for a few different projects. We can either make a brooch, or we can make a tree decoration, or we can even use those things and put them onto a Christmas card, which I'll show you at the end which is great for people when you've got presents that you're sending a little bit further away and you want to send them through the nor normal post. And I've done this myself and I know that they will go as a normal large letter stamp. So what we have here is, I'm just showing you how to cut around the dog using our template. And you've got a little Westie dog and there's two here. Now I'm sorry, I will keep twirling these around because it's as I'm sewing around, it's such a small item. So we need a piece of ribbon for his collar, a piece of ribbon to make as our either key ring holder or our tree decoration, and a little button. As you can see the ones around the edge, I've got one with Let It Snow on, one with snowflakes, one with quite festive ribbons. You can choose red or black brown eyes. So the first thing we're doing, I'm just showing you here, is I've sewn the button on for the eye. Um, and now I'm going to show you how to just attach the little dog's collar. Um, I just do a little loop at the back, pull it taut to the, say, the shape of the um, template and just do a few stitches basically with some green cotton. Again going through the very fine bit of the back of the felt so you're not going all the way through to the front. Just secure it in place. I've used some slightly thinner embroidery th thread to do this one. You just find that sometimes the thicker it is when you're doing fiddly-ish, smaller shapes, the worse it gets. So you can see there I've attached his um, collar with a few quick stitches and now I'm going to just attach his button for his eye. Um, you can make these very girly. You can have pink Christmassy ribbon with um, pink eyes. You can do them in lots of different colours. Um, ideal gifts for people that you know love dogs generally but as we've got Westy at home mine's a little Westy shape if you do black ones you can have Scotty dogs you can change the shape a little bit of the template maybe give it slightly bigger ears if you really want to for another breed of dog okay so I'm just showing you there just a quick tie off on the inside now don't forget obviously with everything else um, we just cover what we've got so when we've sewn the two together you don't see any of the knots or anything on the inside so now we're going to just attach our second piece of felt to it just pin it securely together and we'll start our spacing stitch so you you do a stitch and then you work your in this one's actually going to be a brooch like the red one i've just shown you so what i'm going to do again is just start us uh, sewing Give yourself a bit of a security and I'm going in and out one of the brooch pins. Now you can get these from lots of shops online, you can get them from local hobby shops, um, there's a few different varieties available. This one is a slightly longer one, you can get one with three holes in or you can get one with two holes in. And they also come in sort of like an antique bronze or a gold colour, depending on what, what you fancy using. Um, I tend to buy them in bulk so I get about 20 at a time and then can make a few big batch of all my little doggies for presents for people. Okay, so I'm just securing that off and then again that will be all on the inside so you won't see any of the messy stitching. That then will allow your brooch to be worn. So I'll just put another pin on the other side and then now I'll show you how um, how we could make this into a decoration instead. So again, same principle, you've got the collar you can stick on and this one I've got ready, ready pinned together and I'm going to show the, the nice snowflake little loop to make the hanging part to make this as a keyring or a decoration depending on what you want to use it for. So as you've seen before we, we need to go through a few layers with the ribbon so just Take your time, push through carefully. Hopefully, once we get going, you'll be able to see the, the spacing of the stitches all the way around the dock. OK, 
Okay, this red cotton seems to be causing me a few problems, so I'm just taking my time and I'm pulling through each section. Okay, sometimes the cheaper cottons will not. This is why I said in the previous video, if you use the embroidery silks, pay a little bit more money, but you get a lovely shimmer and also the, the quality of them is better. So here you can see I'm going through four layers, two layers of felt and the two layers of ribbon to securely hold this into place. Trying to keep my spacing between the stitches as even as I can. So just take your time. And again, if you're doing this with a child, like I mentioned in some of the other demonstrations, you know, let them take their time, get them to do some nice even stitches all the way around. I'll just skip forward a little bit now and you'll be able to see a bit further. So here we go, I've almost finished. I'll go back to the one that's the brooch just to show you how we finish it off. So we're working our way around his nose. Um, just keep your stitches tidy, give it a wiggle and we're going to work our way up over the ear and secure it. Now as I've mentioned in the other videos you can fill these little items with a little bit of um, toy stuffing or webbing or something. Um, if you want to do that this would be the point that you do it at just before you do your final finishing together. So I'm just going to come to the end and again show you how I've done finishing off the stitches so that you don't have a knot at the end. Now we've come all the way up to where the little collar is on this dog. So now I'm going to slide the needle in between the layers of felt through, just remove the pin there, through to the other side under his neck. But there will be no cotton showing because that's gone in the gap between the two layers of felt. I'm just pulling him to stretch him back into shape. And then we'll go back up through again between the two layers of felt, right next to where the ribbon is. So that's nice and neat and you have no sign of a knot to show where you finish your sewing. There you go and you can just snip that off. So I'm going to show you now how to make a little card gift. So I've put some uh, washi tape and a little bit of nice Christmas paper on a brown plain craft card. Left it plain for you to write your messages in. And we're just going to pin it inside. And what will happen then is obviously once people are finished with their cards, they can unpin it and wear the little doggy um, for the rest of the Christmas period or next year when they start to think about Christmas again. Something to keep as a treat. If you don't want them to be too festive, so someone can wear them all year round, just pick red and green or you can even do blue and white. So then that would obviously have its envelope. And then I'm just going to show you the same with the little one that I made before. I actually put a keyring onto it. Or you can have it as a little tree decoration, as in, as in this one. So it's quite um, versatile this one. Little bit of Merry Christmas washi tape on the top just to secure him up. That makes a lovely unique Christmas card that you can post as a gift. And very cheap. You can make three or four together in one batch out of a small piece of felt. There you go. Thanks very much for watching. I'll speak to you again soon. So just a final recap. Obviously we've got our doggy brooches and then we can also have a tree and the decorations that we did before, the little diamonds.